<laughs> uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Hey everybody, welcome back to the Kencast. It's been, I think, about five months since my last one. Dang. I actually, first I should issue an apology. It's been a really long time. I'm wondering where I've been, what I've been doing. And honestly, it kind of just fell to the wayside. Uh, for any excuses, I mean, I could throw up some examples, but really it's just been kind of lazy, I don't know, because recording this takes a while, just because, you know, it's a 30 minute thing, right, not that big a deal, but uploading it, the way I upload it, I have to like transfer it into like an mp4 file, which takes like a long time for some reason, then and then upload that to YouTube, which is another, like the same amount of time to record, so it's like, it's kind of annoying, not gonna lie, and I always do this in my room. I always do the Ken cast in my room. So the problem ends up being if my laptop's not in my room, then I don't have the urge to do it because it's usually like midnight when I start doing it. Like right now it's like it's actually midnight when I'm doing this. So Yeah, it's just an apology. I mean five months is a long time for a lot of stories. I guess some questions for you guys. How are you guys doing, you know? I know for a lot of us who I mean I just graduated, right? Ah, oh, dang, class of 2019, right? <sighs> Went by really fast. I really did. Graduated. Now we're in summer. A lot of us just relaxing in the summer, having our grad parties, maybe just playing video games, spending some time with family. July 4th's coming up. You know, scare your dogs to death. <laughs> uh, let's see, enjoy some fireworks. Try not to get wasted, you know, <laughs> on this purely American holiday. For me, and probably a few of you out there, the grind never stops, you know. Sometimes we're just going through summer classes, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm going to CU Denver, and I'm doing a, uh, what's it, a summer bridge program for CU Denver. I've already, I started last week. I'm going with a few friends. We're going with Jasmine, uh, let's say my friend Hamid, and then my cousin, and then a few others that I happened to meet along the way. But yeah. I mean, I'm more, I'm, I'm kind of tired. I know that's already an excuse. And it feels weird going back into this. I know it's, I know I didn't so seldom, right? And I still talk to myself like a lot, right? So it shouldn't be that difficult to get back into it. But it's almost like, where do I begin, right? Shoot. I actually had a KenCast episode recorded twice. I had a KenCast special, which was like about 13 minutes where I just wanted to do a short one to talk about. And then a longer one, which I think was about May? I think it was about May, because... Oh gosh, I'm gonna... Oh gosh, I'm gonna burp. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Sorry, I had to... I, th I thought that sounded really weird, but I had to, uh, what's it? Take off my headphones, put them to the side, <laughs> and then, uh, what's it? Try to, uh, what's it? Try to cough in another direction, right? Um, I guess we'll start, yeah, at the previous KenCast episode. It was at May. I was trying to send a nice episode before we all took our AP tests or some finals for those in college or, you know, just for people. I don't know who watches this. I really don't. There's new people, but I don't know who watches this. But yeah, I'll just address most of you guys as if you're like Rangeu alumni. Weird to say that now, alumni. Uh, it was just, you know. Wishing you guys for what you know, not for well, good luck, right, and all that kind of stuff. I think scores come out in two weeks. I think no, yeah, two weeks. July seventh comes out. Uh since then, the first few weeks of summer was just was just grad parties. <laughs> I had like five people invite me to grad parties, and like two of them overlapped. So we had a lot of traveling on one day. Went to Tristan's, Mackenzie's. Friend of Nusha's, all that kind of amazing stuff. I realize again how awkward it is to meet a stranger, right? And try to make friends with someone who's also friends with someone else, right? It's maybe not too bad because, I don't know, you kind of open yourself up and you slowly get into it. Maybe you find some things in common, you find some humorous points to do, right? And maybe you just end up, you know, being a cool person, right? But when you got to do that for like eight people, it's just kind of daunting, right? Because, <laughs> 
I went to my friend's uh, grad party, but we all knew the host. Let's say because we uh, we had met her, but none of us knew each other. Cause she the the because she's like you know she goes all over the place, all right? So it's kind of hard to like <laughs> it's kind of hard to uh, let's say it's like half of it's like we're split up into groups, right? So it's like group from this particular area, say so I don't know a club, right? Group from this area, which was uh, people who can make it from middle school, right? Group from this area, which is like, I don't know, it's a family kind of thing, right? Group from this area, which is like school now, you know, all of that. And so this is, we just kind of huddle around in small groups talking to each other. I mean, it looked normal. We were all having fun. Uh, I can't play volleyball. I'm, I'm too scared to spike it, and I can't aim, and I, I can't sit. I'm kind of clumsy. <laughs> so that was fun. Uh, where am I in that, Kenny? Yeah, no, it's, it was just fun. It was nice, calm, fun. Um, I don't know. Dang, I'm at a loss. Usually, I talk about something that happens to that day, right? I mean, I guess the song program could be talked about a lot. Well, let's let's not do that for yet. Let's not do that yet. Uh, I started going to the gym. Uh, let's see. I think Planet Fitness and 24 Hour Fitness and a few other things. Gyms. Not things, gyms are doing a uh, what's it like a team fitness kind of summer thing. I know very, very precise, very, uh, very. Um, I can't think of the word. I'm brain farting. I know good words. There you go. Good words. Good words. Uh, for ages like 15 to like 18 or something, you can uh, go to the gym for free, given that your parents sign a signature and that allow you to go to the gym. So John had been pestering me about it for a while, and I just kind of like almost didn't want to do it because I'm like, oh gosh, if fireworks, if you hear it in the background, fireworks, you know, July the 4th. Um, it's really hot, man. I turn on the fan, but I turn on the fan, there's like a background noise, so I guess we're not going to do that. I guess we're just not going to do that. But yeah, I didn't want to go to the gym. I'll be honest. I didn't want to go to the gym because it was like a commitment, right? It's like, oh, he's going to drive me. And I have to go, right? And I know the first week, the first month of going to a gym, right? Uh, depending on how much you commit, it's just hell, right? Every part of your body is sore. Uh, let's say you're tired always. You know, you, it just makes life so annoying. Nothing really happens as well. So it's just like the preliminary to heck with it, right? And that's really how it was. The first week was two weeks ago. Oh, voice card. Two weeks ago, I think. Yeah, about two weeks ago. And then John takes me. And he says, like, you know, over the summer, you don't really have that much to do. Maybe hang out with friends. Maybe you commit yourself to learning something, which, let's be honest, we're lazy. At least most of the friends I know are lazy, so I'm probably not going to do that. You might go vacation, right? Hope you enjoy all of those if you're doing that. But I'm a lazy bum, so I just stay at home. <laughs> I lay down, take naps. Uh, let's say I stay up really late, I play games with friends, and really nothing else. I should be looking for a job, maybe. Uh, let's say I want. I should be like you know looking for scholarships for college, all that kind of stuff. But you know should. Eh, I don't know. I may have had a rant on what should, uh, how I feel about people that should do things. Right? I should do that. I don't know. I don't believe in it. Maybe it's a little bad, but I don't believe in it. Uh... But yeah, he started taking me to the gym. And as a person who's never gone to a gym before, Planet Fitness was, I think, as it advertises, really friendly. Uh, but I'm re again reminded, as if through the entirety of my school career, that people generally just don't care. <laughs> they just, they go to the gym, they put on their headphones, or they don't put on anything at all, and they just ignore you, right? Which makes sense. They're there not to make friends, they're there to get healthy, right? The Planet Fitness, Planet Fitness has this kind of like, again, a more friendly vibe. They try to make it more friendly. You know, they put up all the signs like, you know, no grimacing, no dropping weights, no screaming, like, you know, no tank tops, that kind of stuff. It's like, you know, sure, right? It kind of just happens. No one really enforces those things. I don't think you can get kicked out of it, I've been told. I've seen videos. I guess this is the more correct way of saying that. But, um, yeah. 
I'm just like going to the gym, working out complete. As a person who only goes to home gym at that point, right? Which only works out with like dumbbells. And I think I smacked my mic. Feels bad. But I only work out dumbbells. I have a pull up bar and I barely use a machine downstairs, right? So most of my uh, workouts are calisthenics. I think it's calisthenics. Hold on, let me search it up. I think I, I, think I keep calisthenics. Calisthenics? Calisthenics. Okay, yeah. So just work with your body weight, right? But I'm not really strong enough to do much with my body weight, and I'd work out like in spurts. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have commitment. <laughs> so it's like, you don't really, nothing really changes too much. And I also don't eat that much. I don't get that much rest. And like the three things you need for like to make a healthy body is to just have commitment to to uh, to exercise, to get a lot of rest, and to eat good food. So you know you you have the field to grow. And I do none of those things. <laughs> I do absolutely none of those things. I eat because I don't move around a lot. I eat very seldom. Uh, what's it? I stay up really late to play games, so I sleep not that much, and I try to wake up early, right? And I I work on spurts. So yeah, nothing really changed for a long time, right? So I'm kind of a skinny boy, but finally going to the gym, I'm like, okay, John's making me go about five times a week. Usually that's like, that's like the average, right? Sometimes it's four, sometimes it's six, right? But it's about five times a week. And the first week was just as I thought it was. I'm, 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 I don't work on my legs too much because again, it's mainly that I, I, my body weight's all I have, right? So I'm like, I don't know how to work on like the inner leg. Uh, I don't know muscles, sorry. The inner leg, the I guess the butt, uh, <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff. I don't know how to work on that. I just like, you know, jump and lunge, right? And that's the best I can do, right? I squat, I jump, I lunge, I like, that's that's pretty much it. Maybe most, mo- maybe just mostly calf and a little bit of uh, cardio, right? So I'm finally going to the gym and seeing all these machines and all these like different weights and stuff, I'm like, wow. I'm like, I have no clue how to do any of these things. So starting off, I'm going with the lowest weights. I'm going in there with like two and a half pounds to try to get like the form for like, uh, what's it? For like shoulder and uh, what's it? And for core and for back and all that. And I just, it, it, it's a lot of fun going to the gym, really. Oh shoot, I'm so sorry. I just smacked it. But it's a lot of fun going to the gym. Oh, but yeah, it feels horrible. Now it's not that bad. I get sore for about a day and a half, too. Uh, John's been going since about 8th grade. Started going serious about 10th grade-ish, though. So he's, like, totally fine. He's doing, like, you know, triple four times, five times my weight. I'm like, yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> John's a big Asian, so, yeah. Oh, man. I, only, I don't go on Saturdays because I go to my grandma's house on Saturdays, but I guess that changes from Saturday to Sunday. So I tell John, hey, yeah, man, he's my, only, he's my ride there. So I, <laughs> I'm using John as my excuse. It's like, if he's not there, I ain't going. It's like, shouldn't you try to commit yourself to going there because you, know, you have this membership? It's like, no, 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 I'm not going. Oh, membership's free. Membership is free. I don't know if I said that. Um, let's see what else happened in the time I was away. Oh, I finished my, you'll see this while I'm for, in the, uh, another episode I might post. I was working on my Stan Lee uh, stippling image, right? Uh, I'm going to say right now, it looks decent, but it's missing a contrast, and it's kind of incomplete near around the, the neck area, because I didn't really finish his shirt. It's kind of like a fade. Um, but yeah, I finally finished it. And I turned it into the, uh, what's it, to the library. I didn't know if I could, uh, what's it, donate to the library because I've seen these pictures all over it. But they look kind of, they're not, they're not really my style, right? Because they're kind of awkward. And I asked my art teacher, Mr. Riggins, about it. And um, he's like, don't they, don't, it's like, what's it? He, he didn't, he was like, we haven't done that in a while, right? So I'm like, okay, can I do it? I was like, yeah, they'll, uh, they'll frame it for you. I'm like, I don't know, having people do stuff and spend money on things for me? I'm like, ah, ooh, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> right? So it's like, I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. But I finished it. Desperately on the last night, I asked Ryan to help me stipple everything together. 
and we somehow did like 20% of the work in one night over a project that took like four weeks, right? Just to show you how much I did in class, right? Because I'm always scared starting. I'm really scared starting it, even though if you put one dot, if you, look, if you put like 50 dots and look from far away, you still can't even see the 50 dots, so it's not that big a deal, right, if you make a mistake. Stippling is the nicest one to do. It takes the longest, but it's the nicest one to do. And they gladly accepted it. In fact, I think they were too excited to take it because from far away it looked kind of meh. It looked kind of meh. Maybe it's just me being hard on myself. You can tell who he is. It looks kind of meh. <laughs> looks, looks kind of meh. Up close, you see like a different level of it. I've always had problems with that. Oh gosh, what else to talk about? I guess I can just like, I don't know, this is like transition, right? <laughs> we can talk about uh, <laughs> the summer program. Um, weird thing for college. I have to call my professors by their, by their first name. I cannot get used to that. I've, I've only been in there for one week. And I only have three classes. Because it's a summer program, right? It's not supposed to be a full hardcore like throw you into classes just as difficult as college, right? I guess they are, but they're more like they're kind of easing in on us. I get that feeling because the homework's like just here, read these two things, do this, uh, also research these two these things, you know, write put a uh, presentation on that. So it's really not that difficult. But the more I think about it, the more it scares me. So we'll ignore the homework for now, right? Um, my teachers. Uh, I, I talk to them and it's like, hey, uh, oh, should I put another name for confidentiality? Is that a word? Uh, to preserve conf confidentiality, I, I guess is the word. Uh, I should think of names to them. So my first teacher, her first name is Susan. Uh, second teacher, his first name is, I'll well, just say Daniel. And third teacher, his first name is... I don't know, Marcus. I, I'm going to forget all of those, right? And they have their last name as well. So I'm tempted to call them, you know, Mr. Uh, Susan's last name or Mr. Uh, what's it? Daniel's last name, right? Because that's just how I've, I've always done it like that. But now I'm going in here and she's like, and she's like, yeah, you can call me Susan. And I'm like, I can't do <laughs> I'm like, I, I can't, I can't do that. I, I just can't do that. And so every time I walk up to them, I my voice drops to or my voice raises about an octave or two, and I act like I'm like twelve. I'm like, "Hi, Susan," and it's like, "Oh God!" <laughs> it's like, "Oh God!" It's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. I got. I'm getting used to it. I asked Susan. Um, I see. I'm even getting better at that. I asked Susan, "How do I?" Is there a trick to just learning their first names instead? And she tells me, it really varies from teacher to teacher, uh, be, or professor to professor. Yeah, I gotta get used to calling them professors as well, because they definitely earned their degrees. Because uh, some of them, she told me, don't really care. They're like, yeah, just, just call me by my first name, right? Others, you know, they earn their PhDs or their masters, and it's like you have to call me professor, right, or doctor, right? Which is like you know, yeah, you you deserve that, right? You deserve that honor, right? And they like to wear it high, right? So that when you talk to them, it's like doctor this, right? Which is like that. The more I think about that, right, the more I realize how insane twelve years of college is. Because the amount of commitment you, oh gosh, oh gosh, sorry, I haven't really had water. I should get water before this. But, um, what's it? The amount, there's like 12 years in college, right? I'm barely a week in to like a pseudo college and I already want to leave. <laughs> I already want to leave. Ah, gosh. Um, uh, shoot. See, this is the problem I have. I have a lot to talk about, but it's kind of like spaced away and I usually talk about the day or the week, right? I don't really know what to talk about. Life's kind of bored right now, I'm not going to lie. Um, I finally got, I finally registered for my classes. 
even though orientation was a good like three weeks ago um, I don't know I mean light rail is kind of fun <laughs> so I think you're jumping into things that aren't entertaining anymore it's like I get it I know I get it but my friend was like hey it's been a while since you made a Ken gas I'm like yeah you're right it's like why don't you make a Ken gas I'm like okay <laughs> So, I'm like desperately trying to make a KenCast, having, again, just like every other way, no clue what I want to talk about. I haven't done tennis in a while, too. I don't think they have that over there. Who knows? I guess we can talk about what game I've been playing. That's been just absorbed in my life for the past week. Because that's, you know, there. I've been playing this game called Teamfight Tactics. I know, for those who play games, you probably never want to hear this ever again. For those who are playing games, you're like, I kind of don't want to hear this. But... You're going to humor me because I'm doing this and I can do what I want. Meh. <laughs> so, uh, the team fight tactics is just a, uh, it's like a, it's more strategy than, uh, what's it, than finesse or outright skill. I guess strategy is a skill, so I shouldn't say that. More like reaction speed and, uh, you know, movement control or whatever, right? It's more strategy. And I don't want to go into explaining it because it's really complicated in that, to explain it is hard. To play it is easy. <laughs> to play it's really easy. You just it, it kind of throws you into these quick rounds where they pit you against eight v eight, and you you just get units. And you throw them on a board. That kind of looks like chess. Really doesn't. Chess isn't in a hexagonal, you know, grin. <laughs> so, all right, you know, ding number one. It's okay. It's called auto chess. All right, doesn't matter. But yeah, I've been playing that with my friends for a while. And I don't really know where I'm going with this now that I think about it. Because I want to spend some time explaining the game. But that's just, like, boring. I don't know. I mean, I, I like... Yeah, it's just boring. I mean, I've been playing Pokemon again. I found an emulator online called Citra. And I just, like... I was like, wait, is this a 3DS emulator? So I'm like, okay. What games can I get for 3DS? I go, I go ahead and switch it up. And I see, okay, what Pokemon games can I get? I think Generation 6 is what that is. So you have Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, X and Y, maybe Black and White 2. I don't know. I think Black and White was on, uh, was the last one for DS. But I, saw, I was like, okay, I can get, I think they call it Oras, which is Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. I'm throwing some tournaments you guys. And kind of Spitfire. But yeah, uh, let's say, I'll call it Oras for the sake of this from now on. I specifically got Omega, uh, I don't know, Alpha Sapphire, because I remember getting the original game back on the Game Boy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I remember getting the original games on the Game Boy, and I played that for a while. But I got to the Elite Four, and I kind of sucked, so I didn't really know what to do. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so I just kind of like stopped going, because <laughs> I, I I did the strategy. Where you like, you start off with like a mud kip, right? And you just like, you don't know how the game works. So you just throw all your EXP onto the mud kip. So like, if you if you lose the first guy, your whole strategy is out the door, right? You just you just give up on the fight, right? And if your first guy dies, what I would do is I'd have a team of six units, right? i throw in another unit, and it would just be like, like meat shield, like fodder. <laughs> so they would tank one hit. And while they do that, I would use an item and revive my original Mudkip. And then I use the Mudkip to fight, right? I, I wasn't really a smart child. Not not really. It wasn't really street smart. Far too scared to delve into, like, the, the multitude of, uh, of element or types. Not elements. Types. And try to learn the game the way it was meant to be played. You know, catching Pokemon. I didn't catch any Pokemon. <laughs> I barely caught, like, the first one. So, yeah. I would go back into it now, and I remember it was like, the first one was like 8-bit, right? It, you could see the eyes were just like squares, right? And everyone walked in a grid-like state. And I go into this one, and I'm completely baffled by the graphics. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Just, just beautiful. Because now my character doesn't walk, you know, up, down, left, right. They can go sideways. I'm like, what? 
<laughs> I'm like, what? And the maps aren't in grids, so I can like hug the walls. Oh my god, the grass looks amazing. The the Pokemon are absolutely oh, they're animated and all that. I'm like, wow, this is so cool. And I've just been playing that. And now with I think this one called Mega Evolution. I'm like trying to completion in the game. Because I'm a completionist. So I'm trying to complete everything in the game. So I'm following a guide so I don't miss anything. And it's like, Kenny, that's not how you play Pokemon. Pokemon's the joy of adventure. It's finding out. It's finding out things by accident. And enjoy the story that way. And I'm here like, where is my potion? <laughs> is there a potion in this corner? Where is it? So I run over to the corner. And it's completely obscure. And I'm, I'm trying to like map out everything to make sure I get everything. And, ah, oh, it's just a blast from the past. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and I want to play it again. But, again, it's like 1220. Uh, I think it might make this a little shorter than usual. Mainly because I think it's like a small throwback. Uh, we'll call this episode 10. And then, uh, what's it? For the other two, I'll call the other one episode 11, question mark. And then maybe, like, uh, let's see. Ken cast the special episode or the shorts right can cast the short the short one right i don't know i might make like sub 15 minute ones if something comes up and i want to talk about it because i can't keep doing 30 minutes i end up just jumping around the different topics and it feels kind of detached almost in a way and I feel kind of bad for doing that so i might start up a quote-unquote series i know we only have 10 episodes, 10 episodes of this but i might start up a quote-unquote mini series where I do a shorter Ken cast. So, I don't know. Uh, if you're... I, don't know, I might think of a name for it. You can also just tell me names. Uh, let's say, I don't know, through Snapchat or something. Or if you're not my Snapchat friend, which there might be like one or two of you out there, uh, you can put in the comments for a title for this new series. Maybe the Ken cast shorts, right? Who knows? Uh, anyway, I hope to get back into this. I hope to post this over the summer right i don't know how, why i'm doing it during the time where i have homework and all that and it's about a month away from college actually starting but yeah i'll be staying home for college for first year so i don't really plan on stopping doing this anytime soon no jobs coming up maybe doing work study i don't know well thanks for listening guys i hope you all have a wonderful night and maybe a wonderful next of the week if i don't see you then see hear talk to you <laughs> anyway thanks for listening i don't even remember the outro don't even have an outro do we have an intro uh thanks for listening guys i'll see you later